How do you like that sound? According to one viewer, it gave him uh, ear cancer. And another guy called it a uh, tornado warning siren. The sound doesn't bother me that much, but the camera picks it up really well. So most of the time I will edit down the volume, but that makes uh, talking and uh, turning at the same time difficult. Not enough for me to replace the old uh, VFD. After all, I'm not the kind of guy that uh, wants a new kitchen because the color of the old one is out of fashion. So why make a video about a new VFD, I hear you ask. Let me explain. Some weeks ago I got an email and the uh, subject was Bang Good, Business Opportunity. The first thing that went through my mind was, uh, great, the uh, porn spam people have found my email address. Get ready for some blue pills or uh, perhaps a uh, Chinese made penis enlargement pump. But it turned out that Banggood is a big online reseller and they wanted me to review some lathe tools for them. They actually sell a lot of stuff and uh, ironically that also includes adult toys. Maybe I can do a video about testing the machinability of dildos. A bit surprised about this offer. After all, my little tool temple here doesn't have many uh, followers. So I did a search about uh, Banggood on the YouTube and quickly found uh, Pierre's Garage, his uh, review for some Banggood inserts and tool holders. The same tools were now also offered to me. Even though they looked nice enough tools, I thought it would be a bit redundant to make another testing video. So after browsing the uh, Banggood website for a while, I made them a counter offer. An offer that, if accepted, would benefit all parties. Me, you and uh, Banggood. I love that name. <laughs> After all, sex sells. So here it is, my uh, new VFD drive. It's the uh, NF9000, made by a company called uh, uh, NF Flixen. The Chen Chen N Flixen Electrical Co. Ltd. It's a uh, 2.2 kilowatt single phase uh, unit and uh, for your information the uh, 9000 series goes from uh, 3 quarter kilowatt up to 400 kilowatt and that includes both single phase and three phase models um, and Flixen has a uh, internet site called nflixen.com if you uh, can read Chinese, you should check it out. They also have an English version of their website, but uh, that's uh, well, that's more entertainment than uh, informational. Now, before I start my uh, review or test or whatever you want to call this, I want to point out that Banggood gave me this drive for free. In return, I should make a uh, video with my uh, honest review. A good deal? I don't know yet, but an uh, honest review they uh, shall have. Okay, let's start. Um, when I opened up the box, this knob fell out. It almost makes me wish I uh, did an unboxing video. But uh, I hate unboxing videos, especially the ones done by the uh, Apple fanboys. This knob is pretty loose on here, so it uh, came off during uh, shipping. Uh, and somehow it actually made its way through the plastic wrapper that was uh, on this uh, drive. The uh, second thing I noticed, there's a bit of a rattle. Usually not a good sign. The next thing I saw is the uh, heat sink on the back here is bent this way and it's almost in contact with the uh, capacitors. There are actually two quality control stickers on here. And it's uh, hard to believe that it uh, came through the quality control 
being bent like this it is possible that it fell after quality control it is even possible that it uh, got bent during uh, shipping because um, the uh, foam that is uh, supposed to protect uh, the drive is uh, pretty loose and it allows uh, the drive to uh, more or less rattle in the box I guess we'll never find out what really happened so what else did I notice um, this is a removable panel but it is hard to get out although you probably only need to do that once maybe twice it does come with this extension cable so you can uh, remotely mount uh, the control panel um, I've seen similar drives uh, advertised on the internet where you need to separately purchase this uh, extension cable so that's a bit of a plus um, the other thing in the box is this uh, manual written in the finest Chinglish possible I've actually read some of this manual online and uh, it certainly isn't the worst uh, manual ever but it sure doesn't help when you run into uh, configuration problems there are a couple of screws missing here on the guard uh, probably done intentionally to save a few uh, renminbi I'm hoping that this fan is a bit quiet because uh, these little fuckers can be noisy um, but this drive is 2.2 kilowatt and that's three times uh, what I need so uh, I suspect it will be okay it should take a while before it uh, warms up and the fan kicks in let's have a look inside some of these uh, terminal screws here were loose and that was the uh, source of the rattling sound so luckily no loose parts inside this uh, green connector block is for the I.O. you can do all kinds of uh, difficult things with this the only thing I need to figure out for now is uh, which two uh, connectors will start and stop the motor using an uh, external switch that uh, should be possible even for an amateur like me below here are the uh, power input and output connectors RS T RS is for connecting your single phase in UVW is the output three phase to the motor P, B and P not sure what that is too bad I can't read uh, the Chinese uh, symbols on these uh, yellow uh, covering plates I think you're not supposed to use these uh, connectors not sure it's a shame that uh, this unit is a bit damaged it uh, gives a bad first impression to be honest um, it doesn't look that bad it's well made enough for what it is a uh, cheap Chinese VFD drive that uh, cost only $182 including shipping these uh, edges on here are a bit sharp they uh, sure didn't waste any uh, money uh, deburring well uh, let's hook up some cables well it's uh, several hours later and uh, I haven't uh, connected anything because I've run into a little problem I can't find any earth terminal in here it uh, just isn't there and if you look into the manual I don't know if you can see this on camera um, some of these models don't have a uh, 
earth term terminal. This one has one, this one doesn't, and this one doesn't, this one does, this one has one. But uh, the model I have is uh, missing the uh, terminal for a uh, earth or ground connection. I find this uh, very confusing. I might not be a uh, electrician, but I should be able to find the earth uh, a terminal. They usually have the earth symbol. Anyway, um, there's also no earth terminal on the heatsink. But uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to drill a little hole in here, and uh, I will connect the earth to that. I got a power lead uh, hooked up. It doesn't look uh, very pretty. And I must say these uh, grommets, I don't like them at all. I would uh, prefer to see something that would uh, grab the cable around here, make it tight. So uh, when you accidentally pull the cable, the connectors won't come loose. But for now it should work. I'm gonna plug it in. If you guys see any smoke, yell. It's alive. Well that's good. Stop. Reset. Had a day wait day for the first. A start button would be uh, convenient. Okay, that's obviously for programming. Man, that fan is noisy. <laughs> and if you put your hand in front of the fan, it speeds up. That's pretty much sucks. By the way, the motor didn't start. There she goes. Well, that's a freaking disappointment. I spent some time uh, reading the user manual, trying to uh, figure out how to change the uh, carrier frequency. Um, the carrier frequency is basically the uh, frequency at which the uh, frequency drive does its uh, internal magic. And uh, increasing that carrier frequency should have a positive effect on the uh, harmonic noises the motor makes. First let's uh, listen again to the uh, default setting and the noise the motor makes. And I'm going to put my screwdriver in the fan so we won't hear that bloody thing. I haven't found a way to switch it off and I'm afraid there is no way. Let's see. Here we go. All the way up to 50 hertz. That's still pretty noisy. Here comes the fan. And stop. It reacts slowly to the operating uh, controls. I should really uh, look into that as well. 
All right, now let's change the uh, carrier frequency. You go into programming mode. It's already at F12. F12 is the uh, the setting for the uh, carrier wave. You can switch to other settings with the arrow keys. Then you press um, RD WT and RD stands for um, readout and it reads out the current setting which is 4 and I think that's 4 kilohertz. Let's set it to uh, 8 and then you press uh, WT and it writes it to the EEPROM and then you press that one again uh, again no you press that one and you're done screwdriver back in the fan and here we go I think that's a lot better here comes the fan again noisy as ever Let's increase it even more. Read out. Go to 12. Right. That one. Screwdriver back in the van. And here we go. It is even more silent, but it is getting annoying, very high pitched. Increasing the uh, carrier wave can actually uh, harm the motor, it can damage the bearings and the insulation, especially on older motors made in the time before uh, frequency drives became uh, commercially available, and that was uh, somewhere in the 80s. A higher uh, frequency will also make the drive less uh, efficient, so I settled uh, for uh, 6 uh, kilohertz and that's uh, 2 kilohertz more than the uh, default setting. It sounded okay to me. The fan however still makes uh, a lot of noise and I haven't found a way to uh, silence it. All I have found in the manual is that uh, F062 reads out the uh, radiator temperature and I guess they are talking about a uh, temperature sensor on the uh, CPU or DSP, whatever you want to call it. According to the description of uh, function 62 on page 58, it displays the temperature in degrees centigrade. And when the temperature overruns 45C, the fun operates continuously. So the fun starts at 45 degrees. Uh, and when hot over 80C, the frequency converter stops and displays a OH fault. OH probably means uh, overheat. So, to me, it looks like the fan should start when function 62 reads uh, 45 degrees. Let's see what it reads 22 degrees. So, why the F is the fan starting? And I don't think there is a second fan hiding in here. But we could uh, find out by uh, heating this thing up to uh, 45 degrees while uh, having this uh, punch and this uh, external fan. And now we wait. This is going to take a long while. Let's increase the uh, carrier frequency. See if that uh, heat things up faster. Set it to max. 
Sounds nice. That's the ambient temperature. Sixty hertz. You guys want to make a bet? What will be first? A uh, full memory card? An empty battery? Or this one reaching 45 degrees? Well, this is taking too long. Actually, I reached the uh, 30 minutes uh, recording time. Well, that's a solid 45 and I don't hear an extra fan. Nope. So, it looks like it's uh, not needed to have the fan running from the start. Um, now, I've been in contact with the manufacturer. Actually, I've talked to my Banggood contacts and uh, he talked with a uh, sales manager and somehow they ended up thinking that I was uh, trying to run a uh, external three-phase uh, ventilator. So after I uh, explained my problem again, their response was it is not possible to regulate the internal cooling fan. But I don't want to regulate the internal cooling fan. I just want it to uh, behave the way it is uh, described in the uh, manual. So at this point I gave up because the uh, language barrier is uh, well pretty big. The way I see it, there are two possibilities. The drive might be damaged the manual is right and the uh, manufacturer is wrong. There is some damage to the heatsink that uh, supports this scenario. Or the manufacturer is right and the manual is wrong when it comes to this particular model. I found out that this model has an internal brake resistor so perhaps the uh, fan needs to run to uh, keep it at a low temperature. Anyway, if I'm uh, going to use this VFD I would need to install it in some sort of cabinet. That would uh, require some rewirings, probably some modification to the workbench, and uh, I would need to buy a uh, cabinet. Uh, preferably a nice metal cabinet that can be grounded, but those are probably pretty expensive, maybe even more expensive than the drive. But it would take care of all my major issues. It would dampen the uh, fan sound, and it would uh, keep those loose cables out of harm's way, and it would more or less fix the uh, missing ground uh, terminal. Perhaps this model was meant to be installed into a cabinet, but I don't think that is uh, mentioned anywhere in the user manual. By the way, I've uh, asked the manufacturer about the missing uh, ground terminal. Their response, not all single phase models need a ground terminal. That's it, no more uh, explanation. I don't think this will do on the European market. There are some other things I would like to set up and test, but uh, I'm sick of my own voice and this video is getting too long anyway. I might make another video, but for now let's, uh, let's bring this to a conclusion. The most important question. Would I have bought this uh, VFD drive if I were in the market for one? Yes, I uh, actually might have. But this one I would have returned uh, as soon as possible. This one doesn't meet my uh, most important requirement. Silence. It might even be uh, defective, but that's hard to prove. I guess I haven't been very lucky with this drive that uh, I've been given to review. It's possible that any other model out of the 9000 series might have worked just fine. If I hadn't uh, run into that uh, grounding issue and the uh, cooling fan problem, I might have written a raving review. Because this isn't a bad drive. It's a cheap drive with a decent build quality and lots of features. Personally, I'm done with uh, cheap Chinese drives for now. Dealing with a uh, Chinglish manual really makes uh, you appreciate a well-written one. A menu which usually lists some phone numbers you can call for support, or maybe an internet address for a user group, or perhaps a forum. But if you speak the Chinese language, or if you are a better electrician than I am, or if you just like a challenge, by all means buy yourself one of these cheap drives. There's a good chance you'll have more luck than me. And at uh, $128, including shipping, it won't break the bank. 
although Air China might just break your package. Having uh, said all that, talking more than I ever did in one of my videos, I think you should now uh, all click on the links below and uh, buy one of these drives. Or buy something else from Banggood, preferably something really expensive, that way I can earn some uh, store credit and get myself some new drill bits that I can break in uh, one of my next videos. People in the EU should keep in mind that goods bought outside the EU are uh, only tax free up to uh, 22 euro. I have no idea what the rules are in other countries. They might, uh, they might take your arm for all I know. Well that's it. To be continued. That's too bad.